Canadians must pay 30% of health care costs directly from their own pocket. Some individuals and families receive private health insurance through their workplace. In this video, we'll look at Canada's private health insurance and what it does and does not cover. Then we'll take a look at whether purchasing health insurance is something you and your family should consider. Medicare coverage. Medicare is the term for single payer universal health care in Canada. Medicare covers most things in Canada and allows most Canadians access to publicly funded hospitals and other institutions. However, there are parts of the system which are not accessible to those without private insurance or deep pockets. Most provinces and territories in Canada do not cover dental visits or dental work. If a complex dental procedure must be performed in the hospital, Medicare may cover this. However, typically they do not cover anything that takes place in a dentist's office. Medicare does not cover optometry beyond a yearly eye exam. The exam determines you need glasses or contacts or other vision aids. This is also not covered under the universal health care system. Other examples where Medicare doesn't provide much coverage are psychological care, prescription drugs, podiatry, wheelchairs, and more. Insurance and hospitals. Many Canadians are surprised to learn that ambulance and emergency services are not totally free. For many, private insurance helps bridge that gap. Medicare does not pay for ambulance rides unless it is to transport patients from one hospital to another. This can mean it can be very expensive to ensure emergency services save your life. If you're hospitalized with private health care in some hospitals, you can stay in nicer accommodations. If these accommodations are not available at the hospital you're in, you can be eligible to receive a certain amount of money per day for up to a certain number of days. This will be the difference in what the insurance company would have paid for private accommodations versus the cost of public accommodations. Traveling. Although Canada offers single-payer health insurance, if you travel between provinces, you may not be covered where you are visiting. Each province runs its own health care and is typically responsible for caring only for its residents. Or if you become ill or injured abroad, you may have to use a local hospital. While many countries do have single-payer health insurance, as a foreigner, you're not guaranteed access to it. As a result, you'll have to pay out of pocket for any health care you receive. Private health care usually insures you while you're abroad so that you don't have to worry about this issue. Moving. If you move out of your home province or territory, whether for school or a new job, you must apply for insurance through the government. This can take several months. OHIP, Ontario's insurance program, takes three months to kick in, for example. If a new job does not offer coverage that begins immediately, individuals may choose to take out a private plan. They may then choose to continue the private plan after Medicare kicks in or to go off of it completely. Many individuals opt for private health insurance to help cover some of these costs that Medicare does not cover. Depending on the private health insurance, you may get dental, vision, psychological care, and prescription drugs on your policy. How much your insurance policy covers depends on the type of insurance you buy. Canada's private health insurance is becoming necessary for many. If your job does not provide private insurance, it is prudent to consider private care. After all, it is an investment in yourself and your family. For more on Canada's health insurance and your options, visit our site. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.